How's it doing, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for Arrow Season 7, Episode 17, entitled Inheritance. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. Overall, this episode was okay. We did learn more about Emiko's backstory and everything that went with her. And we got flashbacks um, of her training with uh, Dante and how Dante taught her everything, which was all right for the most part. Uh, it was interesting, though, because obviously this back half of season seven so far has been very Emiko centered uh, and focused on her character, I feel. And I think it's just, as I've said multiple times in my other Arrow videos this season, I just think she's the main villain, and, and it is, but she's also kind of getting her strings pulled by Dante as well, and I know a lot of people were speculating right when he was introduced, I think back in episode 14, I want to say, I don't know exactly if that was the number, 14 or 15 when he was introduced, a lot of people were already saying, oh, this is going to be the main villain, this is totally it, we're finally getting our main villain because... This season, we didn't really have one. We did have Ricardo Diaz, but he was just kind of there, and not too much was going on. Um, but, yeah, so now that we actually have our main villain, it's going to be uh, pretty exciting, and I'm just looking forward to the rest of the season, obviously, with uh, Emiko, um, and to see everything that goes down with her, really. We also do see um, the woman who was working with Caden James, um, back in season six, I forget her name, they said it in the episode, but I didn't really bother to care, because, uh, uh, she's a pretty shit character, and is very shallow, um, because there's literally no depth with her character, like, I don't know why I should care about her, um, but I think they recast her, she looks kind of different, but maybe that's just me, maybe, maybe I'm tripping here, uh, we also got this really nice scene with Laurel and Oliver, which I know, uh, a lot of comic readers were like, oh, damn, um, I myself included, I was like, yeah, this scene was maybe one of the highlights of the episode, in my opinion, I really liked, um, seeing Oliver and Laurel have this conversation, and I feel like we're, we need more scenes with them, um, I don't ship them or anything, but, I mean, I, I do like their friendship, I guess, I don't know, it is nice to see them together again, and to see their scenes, um, but yeah, this episode, the fight choreography, uh, and all the fights and the action was alright as well, um, it's just really nice that the season's starting to get going here with this main villain and Dante and the Ninth Circle were also introduced, which I, I guess I should mention and talk about because that was also pretty interesting. Um, basically, it's like a terrorist organization and then they were making these invisible drones um, to basically launch like gas over the city and that was pretty spooky, I guess. And yeah, really good stuff with uh, one of my favorite scenes as well. It was towards the end of the episode when... Oliver was trying to shoot the drones, um, dude, it was so badass, he was like, phew, 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 like, so fast, that was so cool, it reminded me of Hawkeye in the Avengers, when he was shooting, um, all of the, what is it called, Ch Chitari, uh, aliens that Loki sent to Earth in the first Avengers film, um, something like that, and, yeah, he was just, like, pulling his arrows out of the, uh, really quack and, uh, uh, quack, did I just say quack, I don't know what's going on, um, so yeah, this was a really good episode, um, I, I didn't hate it, I am excited to see what they do with Emiko, um, just because I feel like, I, I you know, I do have a bit of a prediction, I don't know if I want to mention it here in my review or wait till the promo breakdown that I'll be doing, um, tomorrow, but it should be interesting just to see how everything plays out, um, with her character, um, so I'll save to, I'll save my prediction on what I think is going to happen at, by the end of the season, um, but yeah, this, this episode had a lot of good character moments with, with certain characters like Oliver and Diggle, Oliver and Laurel, and I'm just very excited to see where they go with Emiko, um, as I've already said multiple times in this video, uh, but yeah, cause it's just cool. I like, I'm, I'm so happy that we're actually just getting into this season and it should be really exciting to see how everything plays out. And, um, 
yeah, I guess let me hear your thoughts on this episode. Uh, let me hear your favorite part. I, I did think there were some good parts in this episode, obviously. Uh, good moments with the characters and whatnot. And the action sequences were all right for the most part. And it was obviously good to see Oliver back again because uh, I was missing him in the last episode because he was not really in it at all. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me hear your thoughts on this episode. What did you like? And um, yeah, uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Boop. <laughs>